Let's get on with it. This is Options Basics Part 4. This is Part 4 in a series of several different Options Basics online tutorials that I'm going to be going over. Options Strategies, Options Basics here in the beginning. Further on in these tutorials I'm going to be getting into the depths of real option strategies that can be implemented. In Part 3 we went over different ways to protect a portfolio through the use of options that generally is going to consist of buying options there's not as much risk involved in buying options these later tutorials are going to be getting into what I really do when I'm trading which is income generation through options and we're going to be going over several different types of option strategies it could be uh, several different online tutorials that we're going to be talking about different option strategies because there's just so many out there I can't cover it all in one online tutorial like I said in the previous online tutorials, in the beginning I went over a little bit of the terminology that's involved and that we will be using throughout all of these tutorials. So if you're really new to Options Basics, please go back to part one and start there because I go over all the terminology that I'll be using throughout, like I said. Part three was a good one. That one was with portfolio protection. So if you already have a portfolio that you've had, stocks in there for a long period of time and you're kind of thinking at this point in time I think I need to start protecting some of my gains uh, that would be a good one to look into especially with the market at all-time historical highs people are talking about market pullbacks and this would be a good way to protect some of those gains if something uh, were to happen with a major market correction or something along those lines so please go and check that out part four I'm going to be going over covered calls, naked calls, bear call spreads, naked puts, and bull put spreads. These are going to be ways to generate more income. So you aren't necessarily going to be trying to protect, but you're going to be able to take more risk with these types of products and increase your yield on your portfolio or your return on your portfolio going forward. Why do we implement options into our portfolios? Uh, because options can be so versatile. You can do so many different things. You can protect yourself. You can be very speculative. You can take on a lot more risk with a lot less margin. That's the beauty of options is to buy a stock takes a lot of capital. Whereas with using options, you can implement a lot of these strategies using a lot less capital. So you can uh, if you don't have a lot of money out there uh, or don't want to risk a lot of money, these would be some things that you could do where, uh, or you don't want to tie up, I should say, a lot of money. These are some things that you can implement into your strategies and take advantage of risk. Uh, like I said in the earlier online tutorial, we went over the conservative and ways to protect your returns. This one we're going to be talking about speculative ways to implement options and ways to increase your returns through the use of options. But let it be known that these are strategies where you're going to be carrying on a lot more risk, but with risk does come reward. First off, part three, we did go over covered calls, so I'm just gonna kind of briefly run over this real quick. Covered calls are when you have had a stock in your portfolio and you sell a call option against that above the market out of the money when you sell that call option you gain the premium from the buyer of that option that will overall increase your margins it helps in one particular instance sell your stock at a price that you might not have been able to achieve otherwise and especially on markets that are sideways you can increase your overall yield in your portfolio quite dramatically the guidelines is use shorter duration options when you're using covered calls. The reason why you use shorter duration options is because you can take advantage of the vega and the theta decay that we talked about, which is the time decay and the volatility contraction. Uh, use the right strike selection. Knowing which strike to use is going to be imperative to whether or not you make money or don't make money. And we will go into that in a lot more detail in the online classes and the webinars. Be mindful of dividends and earnings. 
dividends and earnings can be catastrophic to any strategy. So they can also uh, really increase the yield of your portfolio if you implement them at the correct time. Choose profitable positions. Choosing profitable positions is going to be a major component to whether or not you're making money or not losing money. And we will drill down on those also. But for the most part, with a covered call, choosing a profitable position is implementing a strike at a point where you are making money or would be making money if you were to get exercise. If you bought a stock and it's gone down in value and you implement a strategy that is below your break even point, unless you're just trying to get out of it and cut your losses, that's not going to be the strategies we will necessarily be talking about. But given a webinar or something like that where somebody brings it up to me, I can give you different rules as to when to cut your losses and how to uh, minimize those losses a little bit. And choose the right underlying. That's one of the major rules of any options trading. Don't choose something where there's not a lot of volume in there because if you don't have a lot of volume there's just a wider bid ask spread and having to sell it at the bid or buy it at the offer because there's just no participation in that particular option then it's really not going to behoove you to be wasting your time in there as far as I'm concerned pick something that's very popular has a lot of open interest and a lot of volume being traded throughout the day that will increase your probabilities of success and highly volatile underlines increase the premium received, but it also is going to be increasing your risks. So keep that in mind. Risk equals reward. So if there's a lot of risk, uh, you have the potential to make a lot of war reward with that. But going forward, you need to know what you're getting yourself into.